Hey everybody. Well, it's been a little while since y'all seen me, but figured I would uh, post up some pictures and a little video. I am in the middle of repairing the AC unit on my fifth wheel Dometic Brisk Air 2. Got our new motor here. This is our old motor. I think it's been up here since it was original, probably a little over 10 years. About to uh, heat shrink my connectors, reattach my ground, put my wires back on my cap, and put it all back together. So much fun. We'll be back. Okay, new units back in. Squirrel cages, fan blades are all tight. Hopefully I wired it right. We gonna find out. She can shut it off at the wall. It seems to be all right to me. Working just fine. That'll do. Okay, welcome back everybody. So, we've finished getting, it's been about a day now, on this guy here. And it is blowing as cold as ever. That is a successful repair of the Dometic Brisk Air 2. So, one of the things I wanted to go over in that video was, you see that I've got the three wires on one side. And then you've got the two wires on the other side for the capacitor. So the old motor had a black wire and it had a white wire. The white wire goes with the white wire. The black wire goes on the other cap where there's no other wires. I had to go back and look at my pictures to re-verify and make sure that I had everything in the right positions. Um, but you now I did not need to run all the new wiring back into the main controller. I put you know, proper terminated ends on each end so it's a serviceable unit. Um, heat shrinked both sides of the connector, heat shrinked the main connection point between both of them so there's no chance for shorting. There's no chance for any of that to happen. And the main problem we were experiencing was the 20 amp circuit breaker, which I'll take you. Was this guy right here? every 45 minutes to a few hours or so that lock up and ever since doing the repair getting the proper motor uh, putting everything back in place that perfect sorry for the aluminum foil we're trying to keep the heat out of this place in the middle of Texas um, but uh, you know this is my 2012 Forest River uh, Blue Ridge um, it's not a bad camper we're living in it full time uh, the kids seem to like it but whenever you don't have a seat for a couple of days it begins to be a problem um, so I didn't take the best video on it but it, hopefully some of you can pause through it and see you know you've got the three wires on the passenger side of the camper and then you've got your main two wires on the driver's side of the unit up on top um, now as long as you stay with your color codes yellow to yellow red to red black to black then put your new ground wire in place next to your capacitor everything should be just fine I picked up that motor at Shady Pines RV out of Texarkana uh, $155 for a new motor um, I'm not sponsored on this video at all so it was all out of my own pocket and you know, trying to keep the family happy um, hopefully this video will help some of you um, if you learn something put a like or a comment down below and let's see who's knocking at my door I say goodnight to the kids sure huh? I'm gonna say goodnight to y'all sorry I got rudely interrupted just a little bit by the old man had to say goodnight to the kids um, so again if you learn something put a comment down below let me know uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to share it, share it. And if you want to subscribe, show me some subscriptions and maybe I might just start posting again. Uh, let's see if the YouTube algorithms can work in my favor. Uh, maybe we could grow the channel a little bit. And maybe I'll work on filming more. Show me some motivation on y'all's side and I'll show you some motivation on my side. Till then, stay frosty.